Did you know that up to 20% of 3D prints could end in failure due to avoidable mistakes? That's one in five prints. Whether you're a beginner or an expert, these errors are costing you time, money, and materials. Stick around and we'll show you how to avoid the five most costly 3D printer mistakes to save your prints and your wallet. Welcome back 3D makers. Now we all know the heartbreak of a failed print, the hours of work and the precious filament that can go to waste. But what if I told you that most print failures come down to just a handful of common mistakes? Whether you're just starting your 3D printing journey or refining your knowledge, this video is packed with some practical advice to help you avoid wasted materials, time, and most importantly, frustration. Today, we'll walk through the five most costly errors and show you exactly how to avoid them. These tips will not only save you money, but also help you achieve professional quality prints every time. So let's dive in. Mistake number one, poor bed adhesion. Bed adhesion issues are the number one culprit behind failed prints. If your first layer doesn't stick, the rest of the print is basically doomed. Poor bed adhesion can lead to warping, spaghetti-like messes, or complete detachment from the bed, all ultimately ending in a failed print. For some entry-level printers, manual bed levelling is still a requirement. If you have a manual levelling printer, make sure to dial in the bed level by using a piece of paper to calibrate the bed and nozzle height. To do this, manually adjust the bed while moving a sheet of paper beneath the nozzle and feeling for the slightest amount of resistance between the nozzle and the paper. Newer printers make this easier with automated levelling systems, but even they can be inaccurate if the print surface isn't clean. Fortunately, affordable auto bed levelling printers are becoming cheaper and more common. Remember to always clear the print surface of debris, stray filament, prime towers and print lines after each print. You should also regularly clean your print surface too. Soap and water works just fine. It's best to avoid touching your clean build surface with your fingers. To maximise bed adhesion, you may also need to fine tune your Z offset to ensure the nozzle is always at the perfect height. Too high and the filament won't stick, too low and it may scrape the bed or clog with filament. Check the squish of the first layer. If it looks under extruded, then try lowering your Z offset. And if it looks too squished or deformed, try increasing your Z offset. To improve adhesion, you can also consider using tools like glue sticks, painter's tape, or even specialized print surfaces. Personally, I like using the BQ Frostbite Cryogrip plate. This plate has excellent hold and doesn't require a heated bed for PLA. Look for plates with porous oleophobic polymer coatings if you'd like to try something similar for your printer. Finally, don't forget bed temperature. With typical build plates, materials like PLA need around 60 degrees Celsius, while ABS often requires 90 degrees or more. Pair all this with optimized slicer settings, including a slower first layer speed, say 20 to 30% of normal, and increase first layer height to 0.2 to 0.3 millimeters, all for better adhesion. A properly prepped bed ensures your prints stick firmly and reduces material waste significantly. By perfecting your first layer, you'll set your prints up for success every time. Mistake two, incorrect print settings. Using the wrong print settings can lead to a range of problems, from stringing and under extrusion to poor surface quality. For example, printing PLA at too high a temperature, say 220 degrees, can cause oozing, while too low, under 190, can lead to weak layer adhesion. Speed also matters. Pushing printers too far past their recommended limits can result in skipped steps or uneven layers. Always check your slicer's default settings and then adjust for your specific filament. For example, retraction settings are critical to avoid stringing, especially with materials like PETG. If you're unsure, run calibration prints like temperature towers or retraction tests to dial in the perfect settings. Fine-tuning your slicer settings is kind of like tweaking a recipe. Small tweaks can have a big impact, and the print quality results are worth it. Mistake 3. Neglecting maintenance. A well-maintained printer is a reliable printer, but neglecting routine upkeep can lead to clogs, skip steps, and other mechanical failures. Over time, dust and debris can accumulate on the rods and belts, reducing print quality. Prusa recommends lubricating moving parts every 100 hours of printing, 
and bamboo users should check their high-speed rails regularly to prevent wear. Key maintenance tasks include cleaning the nozzle, lubricating the rails and inspecting the belts and screws for tightness. A clogged nozzle can often be cleared with a simple cold pull method and applying a light machine oil to printer's rods to keep everything running smoothly. Dedicate just 10 minutes a week to maintenance and your printer will thank you with consistent, high quality prints. Mistake 4. Using low quality filament. Low quality filament is the silent killer of 3D prints. Cheap brands often have inconsistent diameters or contain impurities, leading to clogs and failed prints. According to All3DP, poor filament can degrade print quality by up to as much as 30%. Instead, invest in trusted brands like Prusamont, Hatchbox or eSun, which provide consistent results and minimise your headaches. But don't be afraid to experiment. There are plenty of other great brands out there with lots of colours and styles. Proper storage is also vital. Filament left in humid or dusty conditions can absorb moisture leading to bubbles and weak layers. Even good quality filament can degrade to a poor quality if left in overly humid or dusty conditions. Store spools in airtight containers with silica beads or use a filament dryer for maximum protection. Spending a little more upfront on quality filament and proper storage can save you a lot of frustration and material waste in the long run. Mistake 5. Ignoring software updates. Outdated software is another common yet overlooked mistake. Running an old version of your slicer or firmware can result in bugs, inefficiencies or even outright failures. Printer manufacturers regularly roll out firmware updates to enhance features and fix bugs. Make it a habit to check for updates monthly. Most slicers also include patch notes which can teach you about new settings or optimizations for your prints. Engaging with online communities is a great way to discover software tips, tricks and best practices to elevate your 3D printing game. So let's recap what we've covered. The main costly mistakes you can make as a beginner with 3D printing are poor bed adhesion, incorrect slicer settings, neglected maintenance, low quality filament and outdated software. Avoiding these mistakes isn't just about better prints, it's about becoming a more efficient and confident maker too. Each step you take to optimise your setup brings you closer to flawless prints and greater satisfaction with your 3D printing journey. Have you encountered any of these mistakes before? Share your experience in the comments below, we'd love to hear your tips. Don't forget to like and subscribe and check out our next video. Thanks for watching and happy printing!